Another way of thinking about what an LLM is, is that it's a very complicated mathematical formula that a machine then executes. And you could execute this formula by hand. If you had the patience, you could calculate by hand what an LLM was going to spit out next. So it seems even more absurd to say that a formula could have mental states. I think it seems right that a formula isn't going to have mental states, but I think that takes us back to where we started, where you asked what's a bad argument. The mere fact that we can describe this unfolding of events in those low-level mathematical terms just in no way should exclude the possibility of there being true and correct higher level explanations. I think it's very likely that those sorts of things will be true for us too. There probably are some laws of physics at the micro level that would explain everything that's going on in your head right now. But in no way would that undermine the idea that you're a thinker. Simply computing that function by hand may be importantly different than computing it in a way that's organized in a certain kind of structure where information is being shared and passed around in the right kind of way. I mean, I think that that's probably true for the human brain too. It, it may well be that we could calculate by hand the computational processes that a visual system goes through, but that wouldn't make the piece of paper and the pen have eyes and see. It needs to be caused in the right way. It needs to be organized in the right way. It needs to have the right effects. I'm not inclined to think that the LLM there, when it says I am good, therefore has the mental state of like, I feel good. But I think that the more interesting question is, does an LLM have any kind of mental states at all along the way to produce producing its outputs. Of course, this is taking us into big classic debates around determinism and so forth. Famously, there's this example of Laplace's demon. Imagine you had a demon that could freeze the state of the universe and just using the complete knowledge of physics, extrapolate the future state of the universe. Obviously, quantum mechanics makes everything tricky, but if that was in principle possible, maybe that would undermine free will, but it shouldn't undermine the presence or absence of mental states. Yeah, yeah. So if you take this argument seriously, that being able to run the numbers and see what an LLM would output means that it can't possibly have mental states then you should also apply this argument to humans. If you had some superior being with loads of time on his hands that fully understood the laws of physics, he could predict what I was going to say next. But that we don't assume that the fact that that's true rules out me having mental states. Yeah, that seems exactly right.